The political climate in these United States seemed to demonstrate the implicit distrust of other cultures. Culture could be racial, ethnic, generational, geographic, institutional, religious, and even political. It is the reason why we do things the way we do them. It is the elephant in the room. We introduce this brand new book by Dr. Oliver Phillips. The Elephant in the Room. Empowering Congregations to Embrace Our Multicultural World. This is particularly a book about congregational change, but in general, it is a book about unmasking the distrust that we seem to have with the other. Make no mistake, when we do not address the elephant we introduce a ton of risk to our efforts to get along. Cultures are powerful creators of great things, and blind destroyers of things that don't fit. This book insists that the shared experience and history provides not only a shared view of what is, it can help us understand why it is, and be a powerful shaper of what will be. This notion of what will be, is important, as it is critical to understand that culture is a dynamic organism that is constantly evolving. The sub-theme of this book might as well be, name it and tame it. This book invites us to a transformative journey, where we ask of our organization some critical questions, such as, what's possible here? What would it take to create change? And, what opportunities do you see? We can't tame the elephant if we don't name it. The elephant, an undiscussable subject, is implicit. It's latent, tacit, undeclared, unexpressed. People talk around the elephant without acknowledging that it's in the room and affecting everything that's going on. But until the elephant's presence is made explicit plain, clear, straightforward, obvious, the quality of true dialogue is limited. Naming and taming the elephant is a metaphor for making implicit issues explicit. Dr. Phillips, in this book, provides a menu of doable strategies to be productive in every business or individual enterprise. Get your copy of this book by going to www.culturephillips.com. This book is also available on Amazon.